a ball? You would see a ball. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions unit. It's up, Corbin. I'm Rick. And he follows the Instagram, Instagram the Twitter, oh, 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 content, content, oh, content. Oh, Patreon, oh, Twitter account, ring the bell to be part of the notification squad. Ring it. Bang! Also, on our first YouTube channel, link in the description below. Today, we're doing a movie review. It is of the Malayalam. This was film. quick. This was quick. Uh, like, like we reacted to the trailer, then we watched the movie. It was just like, yeah. bang, bang. We, we got, uh, I actually had a plan to watch another Molly Allen film, which we will still watch. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it was, because you'll just probably be mad. Yeah, mad. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we got such great reviews, and it just came out, and we would like to see new cinema that comes out pretty quickly. Yeah. We didn't get to see a lot of new films last year. Yeah, when it's a new film, we want to see it as quick yeah. as we can so that we can recommend it and it can be supported and, or tell you don't go see it because it's garbage and it doesn't deserve your money. And we did get uh, a lot of recommendations when we did the trailer reaction that said this is fantastic, go watch it. Yeah. Um, and we love the trailer, but it's The Great Indian Kitchen uh, directed by Geo Baby, mm -hmm. written by Geo Baby, mm -hmm. and then starring... Um, That's uh, Namisha Sajayan mm -hmm. and Suraj, uh, I will mispronounce your name, forgive me, sir, uh, Venjuran Mudu. Who we've seen in one other film, it's the one with Fahat Fasil, where they steal uh, um, her necklace. Her necklace, But right, it's but a I long title and I can never remember it. He's the husband of the But woman. since this is new, we will just do a small little non-spoiler review. Yes. Just because that's, with new stuff, if a lot of you haven't seen it, and I'm assuming a lot of you haven't seen this film. So... Uh, Rick? Well, with a new movie that we're not going to spoil for you, the bottom line is, should you, sh should you see it? Should you not see it? You should see it. Go watch this movie now. Yeah, stop, should, stop watching this. You should go watch it. Stop watching this now, all of you, and go watch it. That is our non-spoiler review. <laughs> uh, it's a fantastic which, piece which, of cinema. Which is a hint that we liked it, because if we didn't like it, we would tell you don't waste your time. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I think every single person in the world, but especially every single Indian, should see this film. Yeah. I think it's, it's something great everyone... follow-up to Parch, wasn't yeah. it? I think it's a, a film that everybody around the world, including Americans, can relate to. Of course. But I think it's especially Indian. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very important for Indians to see this film. Yeah. Not because they're exactly like what's going on in this film, but they might know somebody or the little pieces of their life might relate to and might open their eyes. I don't know. I'm hoping. Yeah. So go watch this film right now. Do not go any further if you haven't seen this film. I think you can watch on Neo. What was it? Knee? 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 Knee something. Knee something. It's, uh, the, it's a platform we're not familiar with. Yeah, but it's like two bucks. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what that is in rupees. But it's there. Uh, knee stream, maybe? Knee stream. I think, I think that's stream. right. Uh, so go watch it. Um, I think it should be a heavily contender for the Oscars next year for India. Yeah, it, I don't disagree. <laughs> okay. Now that you're gone... Uh, all of you. Yeah, now that you've watched it, yeah, and you've come back, we can talk about content. Uh, Your initial thoughts of the spoiler review. Well, I have a lot. I wrote a lot. I didn't do a particular paragraph, but um, I, a lot of times when I'm watching, I will either write or I'll speak. Like if I have my AirPods in, I'll talk into the phone, and I'll just say something while I'm watching the film. Mm -hmm. And there were so many times, I'm sure you're the same mm -hmm. way, where I got so angry, mm -hmm. which, is, which is the point. Uh, I got so mad so many times of the injustices that were being uh, placed upon this this woman and in the name of you fill in the blank and we will in a second uh, from as far as the technical aspects are concerned it was exactly what I thought from the trailer mm -hmm. and I'm glad I was watching it with the air airpods in because I could hear the little nuances I actually was a bit frustrated at first with how long it took us to get into the story we were but 40, then you realize what the story was. We're 40 minutes in, and I'm like, okay, if if what I'm what we're supposed to get is the ready for this word, mundanity, which means the mundane, if we're supposed to be regimented into the mundane of this, or this is going to be what you think it is ultimately, the, the, the movie itself is a metaphor about the great Indian kitchen. But the I, I really at, at first I thought I was going to have the review say I don't know that I would have had the first forty minutes be the, as long as it was until we get into the story, 
but then we got into the story. Mm-hmm. And I understood why the first 40 minutes was the way that it was. Yeah. It was designed to, to get you as closely as you could to be as locked into the machinations of this prison mm-hmm. that she was locked into. It was yeah. one of the things I wrote down at the bottom here was this, that the title for me is a metaphor of, of all of the constraints placed upon women in the place they're expected to be. Mm-hmm. Barefoot and pregnant in the kitchen is the proverbial, you know, and that all of these women's, these constraints are placed upon them because of misogynistic patriarchy and anti-feministic superstitions and traditions. And this great facade is that the magnificent culinary works created, they're done behind the scenes and it's done at the expense of the feminine psyche and the freedom of the woman. Mm-hmm. And, and that for me is the whole message of the film. Yeah. yeah. I actually didn't have a problem with the first 40 minutes in terms of, I think this film went by incredibly fast the entire time. I know what you're, I know what you're referring to, so yeah, I, I can see weird? why people would feel that way. It didn't feel long. Yeah. It just felt like we didn't get to the story. Which was the story. Soon enough, but that was the point. That was the point. That was the point. point. Yeah. Um, but this film, I love this film. I love this film. I think it's one of the best films, which is incredible because this is one of his first films. It's, he's not a, yeah. he has like two other credits besides this. Well, just like Parched. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so fantastic. But he did, uh, his film has so much to say and it starts right off the bat. Obviously after all of its thanks, it thanks science mm-hmm. first and foremost, mm-hmm. which is fantastic. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, f- but then there's uh, so much to say about Obviously, the patriarchy, how women are treated, and 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 the the societal norms that not only men put on but women agree to those norms yes. and, and accept as reality that yes. that is their reality uh, from this traditional family. And like what I was saying in the beginning about uh, every Indian should see this, even if I'm not saying all Indians fall into this at all, but you probably know somebody in your family, or you might even fall into some of these categories that opens your eyes. Like one of the best parts was when she left finally, which made me verbally cheer mm-hmm. for her <laughs> yes. that she did that. Yes. Uh, she went to her parents' house and they were supposed to be this more modern. Right. And then the brother came in, I'm assuming was the brother, and he asked the mom to get him water right. when he was standing up right. and could have easily fucking gotten it. Oh, God, sorry. This film makes me so <laughs> goddamn mad. I got uh, mad <laughs> many, many times. So I was so happy with her that she, like, exploded in that moment. She yes. was like, you are no different and than what I just went through. I actually thought she was going to kill herself. That's what I did, too. Yeah. But I thought it was a great ending that she she empowered herself. Yeah. She's like, I'm not going to be treated for that. anymore. And then also, once again, the writing and directing by Joe, uh, Geo Baby. And uh, everybody else who cooked it, because I love that in the credits. Yeah. yeah. Um, did a fantastic job. Great job. Because after all this, you'd think they would learn a lesson, but then you see him with his new wife, and he left the it's cup for her to clean himself. Same. And I bet didn't call the goddamn plumber yet. No. Ugh! <laughs> Yeah, this film had a like. It's hard to get emotional, visceral reactions out of me. Very, it got it out of me. Yeah. Um. Not. I'm not saying I cried. I didn't. Um. I believe my wife did. Um. But I got very mad. The, which is the it's point. The same way when in America we have a lot of films about race relations and especially old school, like when back in the day or even now when people use the law or religion to treat black people a certain way. Yeah. Those films draw that same feeling out of me, and this drew that feeling out of me multiple times. Like, if you haven't seen Clue, there's a line in it that she's, t- she's so angry, she's like, there's flames <laughs> on the side of my face. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> That's how I felt during this whole film until the very end when I was cheering. I was hoping, like, she was going to poison him, but she just gave him the, the gross, disgusting water, which was amazing. Yeah. And loved it. And she pursued her dream. She, yes. she moved on. And those dancers at the end were fantastic. Great. Yeah. yeah. Those dancers were great. Um, yeah. Um, I, I, it was one of the issues that's covered in this, and I wrote down many times, you know, I, I, um, <sighs> treating women the way she was being treated because they're on their period is extraordinarily infuriating. Barbaric. Um, also, the, there's nothing cleaner than a woman going through a menstrual cycle. Yeah. The body cleans its about goddamn this. self. Let's, let's, let's talk about this because... <laughs> I have long had a very big, infuriating frustration over this issue. And I'm not an expert in 
world religions, okay? What I'm about to say is told from a place of, extra, of, of deep ignorance of some other world religions. I think I'm better than the average bear in that, mm -hmm. this regard. I can tell you I am an expert when it comes to Christianity worldview, uh, occultism, and New Ageism because I've had personal experience in those things and I have spent the most time, study, work, and actually leadership in the world of the Judeo-Christian worldview. But my best understanding that I've ever found, mm. I don't know of any belief system other than atheists, and believe it or not, Sikhism, that does not look at a woman's menstrual cycle as something bad. Yeah. Sikhism specifically says, uh, I, I looked at him, was reading some beautiful things about the fact that they find whether a person's clothes or blood are stained, anything, there's nothing whatsoever to make uh, attribute pollution or uncleanness spiritually or physically to a woman in Sikhism. Uh, and and that, that's, again, I'm not saying I am the, the end all be all in that regard, but I do know I've never understood why this natural function of a, a woman's body that I actually find to be amazing, mm -hmm. not dirty in any way, shape or form, uh, to be treated like it's unclean. An unclean, t well, and that gets into the other issue. And I posted this on my, I tweeted this and I put this on Instagram and said, if you're seeing this, it's related to our review. And it has to do with the fact that a lot of the beliefs are based on things that are superstition. They're not just religious beliefs because superstition is a belief that's maintained despite evidence to the contrary. Yeah. That is a superstition. If you have a belief that's maintained despite evidence to the contrary, um, that that can be relegated into the, the world of superstition and to take away the human rights of another person because of a super superstitious belief is about as mind-numbingly enraging for me as anything I could imagine. Absolutely. And this film had so much to say, not only about obviously the patriarchy and women's old, but religion and, yes. and, and other aspects that that um, if, if whatever you believe mm. infringes upon the rights of somebody else, that is wrong. I don't, I don't care what it is, whether it's religion, politics. Yes, or anything. this. Yeah. Or this. I love the way it was filmed, and I want to get... Here's two things. Here's the first one. Yeah. Right? Then they're laying in bed, and he says, I have to be abstinent for this festival period or this, this yeah, time, yeah. But right? And she says, can I, can I say something without you getting mad? He says, yeah. what is it? And then she says... Um, yeah, if, if you just, it, 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 it hurts when we do that. If you just did some foreplay. Because clearly he didn't warm her up. He doesn't give a shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah at all. And also, then it becomes rape. It, it because is. Because she is not right. consenting at that point. Just because she doesn't say no doesn't mean it's a consent. Right. And if you can't tell the difference, you're a rapist. And it's pretty simple well, to tell that difference. And if, okay, just like when she brought up playfully. Yeah. At the at the restaurant. Ugh, he oh, was so disgusting. You, so you 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 have manners when we eat out. I would slap the shit out of him I, if he I did know. that at a table I was and, at. And and he he gets you know his ego gets hurt mm -hmm. because she brought up a truth. Yeah. And here's something about that, guys. Sadly, in a lot of what we believe, there are lies. And if you're not willing to look at your belief and see if there's a lie in it, you, I I can't comprehend that because. I mean, I, I, you may know this, but the word belief has the word lie built right in it. And if you've never seen that before, you're not looking close enough to the belief. And it, it, I, I don't know why you would want to, to hang your worldview, hang your belief system, hang your identity and your ego on something that isn't true. Yeah. And, and the, the treatment of another person, whether they're male or female, yeah. in a way that makes your ego more important than a conversation because he was a pig at home. Yeah. Yeah, and I thought you know? it was, it was well, yeah, absolutely disgusting. You know how I feel about food in general, like eating with your hands. So what he was doing was absolutely ab abhorrent to and, me. <laughs> and the way he treated her. Yeah. That was a, a metaphor for the way he treated her. It was actually really brilliant the way it was written because at first, it, this is what it felt like. And, and they kind of maintained it way, but the way, and I, I want to give credit to all the actors. Everybody, the especially to the um, dad. Suraj. The husband uh -huh. and to Namisha, Suraj's father, and then and Suraj's dad, uh, T. Suresh Babu. One, all three of you were one hundred percent believable yeah, the entire fantastic. time. Fantastic, but the way that it was written is obviously the dad is the the patriarch of the family. Yes, and he upholds those 
terrible views and kind of, it, he was almost like a silent villain. Uh, like he very was very, okay, so. soft spoken, I guess, villain. Because like all the stuff he did, it, nobody really took it offensively outside of internally offensive. Right. And, and then the the husband was more of the, you thought he was more of the modern, but kind of went along with his dad's crazy ideas. Right. But then right. toward the farther you got along, you realize he basically wasn't any different than his dad. It was, he was basically the same thing. He just right. wasn't as upfront about it right. as she right. was. So it was really brilliantly written. Uh, and then also all the female characters, the ones that came in when she was unclean oh, and she couldn't stars. touch anything. Uh, <laughs> and the fact that she, then it got even worse and she had to go into another room and mm, yeah. <laughs> but then towards the end, when she started calling him out and calling all, uh, it was, yeah. cause it, it was painful for me to watch when he made her apologize to him. Right. For calling him out. Right. Uh, <laughs> me and my wife were like, do not, do not apologize yes. <laughs> at all. Nothing to apologize um, for. And my wife was like, could you, could you, like, if you were in that situation, could, I was like, yeah, I could easily call him out because that's just who I am. But I can see in, in her situation, while it's incredibly difficult in the society that she's in and, and being a woman in that society, yes. why it's incredibly difficult and scary yes. uh, for what can happen. But yes. obviously I would just tell these people to fuck right off don't treat me like that. <laughs> yeah, but here's, but here's the thing. What happens, and this is the case, mm -hmm. what happens when you live in a world where when you do say that, mm -hmm. everybody in the village beats the living crap out of you yeah. and throws you in a cell? Yeah. You know what I mean? All in the name of what they believe in their culture. Right. Uh, and so, they, like I said, this film had a lot to say. A lot to uh, say. And that's why I feel... And you can even relate to it as an American. There's a lot of cultures that, not to this extreme of treating women this way, but there is, to some extent, in some cultures, the women are still uh, kind of thought of as the baby makers, the cooks yes. of the home. Yes. It's obviously culturally different. There's, a, there's different scenarios. But this is not an uncommon thing that I think every culture could relate to, especially as a yeah. female, could relate to this treatment uh, just in different ways. Right. It's, it's a universal it's truth. It's an absolute universal, it's a universal truth, truth and a universal film. So it I is. want to commend Geo Baby for his writing and directing. And I think if this, like, this set the bar pretty high for new films in 2021 for yeah, me. Yeah, it sure did. Of, like... This is right at the top of just like with parts, even though that wasn't this year, uh, in terms of came right, out this right, year. coming out this year. But this is my front runner by a mile currently of, and it's the bar set really high for the next film because I I don't yeah. have a flaw with this film, yeah, at all. There, it's re it really doesn't have. There's a couple of I could be nitpicky uh -huh. about some of the tiny roles. Yeah, some some people who have just what day player walk on roles, yeah. you know, and that would be really wrong to do to the film. The 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 thing that I probably like most about it is that it, among the many messages that it has, one of the primary messages it has is the fact that there is a relationship and you, you just can't deny it. There is a relationship between advancement societally, technologically, industrially, and morally, and societally, I may have repeated that, where, uh, example, there was a time where if you had a mental illness, they thought the right thing to do was drill a hole in your head to let the evil spirit out. Yeah. And then we advanced. We're so advanced now that we, were, we would consider somebody doing that to another person for that reason. What used to be considered the norm, mm -hmm. barbaric. Yeah. That kind of thing is still happening in the world today, where you take that example and you apply it to the way women were treated 1,500, 2,000 years ago. They shouldn't be treated that way anymore anywhere on earth, but because there are places that have not had advancements in society or in treatment of women or in human rights. Or, well, even if they have had it, their refusal to It's just a refusal. Those. It would be like going to that place Because where of tradition or Right, it would be like, why are you drilling a hole in that person's head? Because this is the way we've always done it. That's not a good enough reason. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought, I thought it was a, a brilliant, because I uh, thought also it was very subtle. In, in what it, uh, what, because it was a very simple film. 
a very simple film. There was hardly any dialogue, honestly. So I, it could have almost been a silent film if, if it wanted to be. It, it probably could, have, could been. have been a silent film. It could uh, have been. And you would have gotten the exact same messages out of it. But it's incredibly simple, but it also, I'm, I'm guessing, can, especially to a lot of Indians that have, uh, especially in a more, because obviously this family is not the norm, uh, it's at least big cities, I guess, norm. Um, but I think every Indian can almost relate to some part of this. Uh, and, I think and, everybody, you were right. Everybody can somewhere. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I think it's, that's why I said it's incredibly important, I think, for all Indians to see this film because I think it's incredibly one of the most important films we've seen. Yeah, uh, for in, sure. In terms of just, uh, and I, I love that it thanked science at the beginning because I, I know there's films that we've seen that, that thank God and, and, and do all that kind of stuff, which is, I'm not saying that's that's wrong, but the fact that it made that, that, that choice right at the beginning to be yes. like, thank you science for the advancements uh, that that it keeps us our our culture progressing, yes, uh, and and moving along. Yes. Um, so I can, I have no I, I have nothing but praise for this film. Me as well. And it, I if you I'm hoping you're still not here if you haven't watched it. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. Man, you need to experience this film. It's it's just absolutely brilliant. A plus. Yeah, I agree. Uh, a plus. So, it's it's at the top of the list of films that we've I'll seen. Period. I want to I thank uh, Molly Allum Cinema. They're usually one of the most one. Most consistent yeah. in terms of their quality and also the subjects, the, the subjects, subjects, yeah, subject matter, subjects and substance that they try to um, put out there for their films. Absolutely, they, they do a fantastic job. Yes. Um, so nothing but praise. Uh, let us know what you thought of this film down below, and let us know what's the next Malayalam film we should watch down below. Oh, and um, fuck the patriarchy. <laughs>